my name is Ryan Lippi, and I'm a consumer educator with Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost Consumer Protection Section. This is just a short video to help, help you use the internet wisely. So the internet has placed a world of information and networking options at our fingertips, but it's also given scam artists the ability to carry out their offenses. So keep your guard up and follow a few tips to use the internet wisely. First of all, remember that each computer, internet browser, and mobile phone has different ways to adjust privacy and security features. So you want to determine how to best protect your devices depending on which ones you own. It may involve some website searches. It could also involve contacting the manufacturer of your computer or your internet service provider for some good tips on um, adjusting those security and privacy features. You definitely want them at least at a medium setting. And you may be able to go higher without any detrimental effects on how you browse the internet. So feel free to adjust the settings, but never lower than the medium setting. Also um, with cookies, um, you can sometimes set cookies that are used to track a user's activity for marketing purposes. You may want to occasionally go in and delete cookies or reject, especially third-party cookies, if you're concerned about your privacy and security. And whenever you disclose financial or personal information over the internet, beforehand look for the lock symbol in your internet browser or look for HTTPS at the beginning of the internet address of the website you're going to. The S stands for secure. So all, almost every website starts out HTTP, but where, there, where there's an S on the end, that means it should be a secure website. And finally, know that some scammers fish for personal information. So be very, very careful when you get a when you get an email or when you get a text message from someone that purports to be your bank or your credit card company. It may show the logo. It may even show a lot of wording that your real bank or your real credit card company would use. But beware, a lot of times that those are phishing exercises that try to fish for your personal information. So before you start to give out any kind of personal identifying information, take a deep breath and make sure it's who you think it is, which may involve deleting the email and calling your bank at the phone number that you can find on your account statement or on the back of your credit card. Better safe than sorry. I appreciate you watching today. Again, I'm Ryan Lippi with the Ohio Attorney General's Consumer Protection Section. Thanks for watching.